And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Thresh Aurelian Soul being our other deck for the Thresh Spotlight Day. I know I didn't do too good with the Thresh Nasus. My apologies on that, but I think we're going to do better here with Thresh Aurelian Soul. This is going to be a control deck with Targon and Shadow Isles um, where we're going to be uh, doing a good amount of invoke stuff and just having good uh, efficient removal, the box, Withering Whale, stuff like that, Vile Feast, and we're going to just try to get to the late game. And the reason why Thresh and Aurelian Soul go well together is because if we are able to level up our Thresh, attack with a leveled up Thresh, we get to put an Aurelian Soul into play attacking also, which is just a great champion to put into play attacking. We have two Eclipse Dragons that will also help us cast the Aurelian Soul Plus one infinite mind splitter. I just feel like this is a card that people really underrate these days. You just don't see in very many decks. And so we're going to have an infinite mind splitter in here. Looks like uh, from the patch notes we just got that star shaping and the fangs. These are cards that, that are going to be nerfed starting tomorrow, which I think is perfectly fine. Um, but they're going to be in our deck today. And we have uh, Solari Sunhawk, an underrated two drop that will help slow the opponents down, which is exactly what you want. You know, like it's going to it's going to do its stun thing slow them down, but then also be a body to die for our Thresh. So let's get to it. Let's go and try it out. Thresh Aurelian Soul. We'll go play five games in ranked. And looks like we're playing against Karma Thresh. I like it. Two Thresh decks going at it for Thresh Spotlight Day. Well... Honestly, I kind of think I'm just going to keep all this. Because the thing is, like, Thresh Karma is a super slow control deck. You don't need to, go, like, go mulligan and look for, like, your opening cards against this deck. They'll just kill him anyway. Yeah, or just draw him out and go it anyway. But, you know, like, I, I do want round 7 Eclipse Dragon into round 8 Aurelian Soul in this matchup. And look, we just have a perfect curve anyway. We got Priestess on 3, Fangs on 4. We'll grab a Traveler, keep our Invoking going. Oh man, Cosmic Inspiration can be very good in this matchup if it doesn't get denied, of course. We'll have the Fangs grab another um, Invoke card for us. I would have preferred to just kind of find another Traveler and just kind of have Infinite the Travelers. So if their Thresh levels up, then my Thresh is going to level up also. <laughs> okay, so the only other Invoke card I have right now is the Traveler. I probably want one in my hand. Um... Moonsilver could definitely be really useful. Okay. They gave up. I don't think we're losing that, right? Like, that's the thing. That's kind of the problem with Karma, really. Like, Karma Thresh, sorry. Karma Thresh is going to be really good against aggro decks, right? Like, they're going to have your Go Hards, your Vile Feast, your Eye of the Dragon. Like, they're going to be very good against aggro. But against Targon, Targon just goes bigger than that deck. And they're very slow as well. And they just don't, they're not really going to have a chance against Aurelian Soul, to be honest. So opponent knew it was a losing battle. They knew it was going to take another 10 minutes to actually win the game, but they just they weren't going to be winning that game. They realized that, and they realized the rank's not that important right now, and they're like, you know what, I'm going to move on with my life and, <laughs> and try to find an aggro deck to go beat up. And that's respectable. Oh, 
Oh, now we got to try to deal with the Watcher. All right, so we got to figure out how to deal with this Watcher. Let's see. That card, gone. Honestly, both these two. Hush isn't really that great against the Watcher. It's okay against, like, a Ephemeral Watcher, but I'm just going to mulligan it from the opener. These are all pretty playable cards, though. We don't need to Sketcher away any of these. We we do have other cards that could get Sketchered away, such as a copy of the Box or Withering Whale or Vile Feast, any, anything like that we just don't need. Obviously, we can get rid of a gem as well. Which I guess I'm just going to do that now. Don't love any of these. I, I don't like Equ Equinox isn't good against Watcher, in my opinion, because you you like your reward for Equinoxing a Watcher is that they have an 1117 that's smashing you, and that's like difficult to deal with. So I guess Moon Silver. Yeah, second history. You're getting pretty hyped for the next patch. Same. It's looking good. I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna be real excited for it. It's gonna just be, you know, fresh and, and new, and we have a lot of champions that are buffed. We're gonna have the three new champions that all look very powerful. Um, it's gonna be a really exciting time starting tomorrow. The card that I do want with the, like, whenever I was doing that invoke and what we're about to do with the fangs with the invoke, the card that I do want is um, the double stun card. Because the double stun card, like, whenever they go Spectral Matron and put in Watcher, you just want to stun it for a round. And so that's what I really want. What I really, really want. If I would tell you what I want. What I really, really want. So hopefully we find that with, with our... A uh, copy of the fangs. Okay. So these cards are all useless. We'll just take the messenger can draw a card. So we're not doing very good finding good cards yet. Up there in the mountains! There's no such thing as yet. One problem with killing trundles is that they have more trundles and they get more ice pillars. Dang. I seriously didn't find it. This is the third time we've done this. We didn't find a single one of the double stuns. Yeah, the three three mana revive rally does definitely look pretty OP. A lot of very good looking cards in the latest expansion. Dang. We are getting the absolute worst cards we can get with all these invokes. Uh, none of these cards matter. Yeah, I, I don't care about any of them. Um. 
don't know. I don't care. Warms the heart and lights the way. Can't get the six mana obliterate or the nine mana obliterate too. <laughs> Just can't get anything that matters. Oh uh, man. Um, I don't know. I guess like so. Would cosmic rays is just not. I mean, sure it gets rid of ice pillar, but we're not taking that. So it's it's destroyer or cosmic inspiration, and I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I guess. Cosmic Inspiration. This is not ideal. I can say that pretty comfortably. Yeah, now this Cosmic Inspiration is useless. Should have taken the other one, I guess. These four invokes could not have gone any worse for us. I'm not trying to kill this trundle. I'll be taking a hit here. Bow to your king. Safe with me. This is gonna be fun. Okay, so this only got plus three, so they don't have any other spectral matron in hand. Cards don't matter. <sighs> we are terrible at invoking. We are pitiful at invoking.
Okay, so they have another Lissandra in their hands that we know about because they just they just played this Lissandra off the Entreat, and we know about the Lissandra that they had in their hand from the Spectral Matron. So basically, if I Vengeance this Lissandra, they'll still be able to play a new one. However, Vengeancing this Lissandra would keep them from having Entomb. Like, Entomb's a pretty decent spell. And obviously, they, they're getting these Ice Shards every single round. But the thing about not killing it is their board is filled, which is kind of annoying for them. So I think I just simply play this Eclipse Dragon. Right. That was their plan, was entomb this, and then... Right, 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 right. And now they get attacked with those. Alright, well, I'm, I'm done. This is going to force me to kill the Trundle. You will do as I command. Which, of course, I don't want to, but this is going to force me to kill the Trundle. And this clears up two spots for them. As far as finding board spots for like more matrons and watchers and stuff like that. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. All right. <laughs> a little surprised they didn't just play the Ice Shard there to be able to kill my Eclipse Dragon, but... Alright. And again, they're not using, like, the... L we know that they have the Lissandra in hand, too, and they weren't using the Lissandra in Tomb in any of those. They were using this other in Tomb. I can't believe this is a three mana card <laughs> for all the stuff it's doing. But it is. So I can star shaping my 8-1 and hush the Lissandra. That would do 19 damage to them and put them down to 1. That doesn't sound like the best thing to do for both of those. I do think this is probably worth it, though. Oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me. I guess I'll just take this. Down. We can't get the double obliterate for <laughs> if our life depended on it. There's the Lissandra's in tomb.
I see... Is... I see... Is Trundle a play? I kind of think that Trund Trundle is a play. That's gonna kill me. All right, that was that was the risk of not having the star shaping go to my nexus, I suppose. I had a bunch of invokes that did nothing. I am I am really surprised that they didn't do anything to Matron or Lissandra, and that Watcher is just like a tiny bit worse. That's going to be a, still a very dominant deck. I kind of think that may be the the best deck for the new format. It has all the you know really good removal and defensive options and everything. Still will kill people very fast. I'm not sure you know like I'm not sure how Lurk, you know how it you know how it's going to match up against Lurk yet, but. So the biggest thing I'm scared of is Lissandra um, after the patch 211. Both Thralls and that Watcher combo. But we'll have to see. A lot of other things increased in power. We're gonna have our mountain goat start doing its thing. No, today is just Thresh decks. Where they fall, Day. Freedom grows. Playing a couple of Thresh decks.
I mean, you can just have a bounce bell and hide that way. That's one way to hide. So we're probably going to have to play Black Spear and Hush this round. Well, so much for the Black Spear. I wanted it to Black Spear the Aurelia, but I guess I'm gonna be Black Spear in this ring too though. Is it going to work out no matter what I try? Yeah, that, this honestly isn't going to work out no matter what I try. Because of these like blade surges, I, I don't have any good moves, and I guess I guess the black spear just honestly just doesn't help. So I guess I guess I should just had another blocker. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Guys, hush, hush on the green blade. Do is the only thing I can do. I can still choose exactly how I block no matter what. But I guess the most they can do to me is 12, right? Like the 8-8 eight, eight and the 4-3. Okay. So Thresh dies, but Thresh will level up. I'm happy with that. Like, that's not me dying. So I'm happy with that. as good as we could have hoped for, I suppose. Two 
two, four, six, eight, ten. I tend not to forget, but to remember. Good play by the opponent. That was exactly what they should have done. Good play. They have one other very good play this round also if they do it again. They just do that same thing again. Let's see. So I guess, because if they do that same thing again, which is what they should do, I'm dead. 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, so I guess to stay alive, I kind of have to block here. No, because it's the same thing. They just do the they just do the same thing no matter what. So, yeah, they just do the same thing. I guess I'm dead. Good play, saving that for Mikanox. I guess if I would have taken the doggo, yeah, I guess I need I need to take the doggo, and then I would have had that other blocker. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, Rose, what do you how do you deal with big units in Echo Zillion? Yeah, I mean you can play Siphoning Strike, but if you're just you're playing smaller units, Siphoning Strike doesn't kill larger units whenever you right? Like it only strikes it. But yeah, I mean that If you just have like small things and they play like a really big thing, you're not gonna kill it with the Siphoning Strike. Kahiri with Siphoning Strike. Kahiri have very large Kahiri. Yeah, that could that could be a play, and I think Kahiri is probably a big part of that, of like just Kahiri being a blocker also is really important, just having very large Kahiri in that kind of deck. You probably need Kahiri. I, I really like the balance changes in general, Kendall. Uh, they're all up on the YouTube channel. Up there. That's uh, like on I we went I guess not they're all up, but what I'm trying to say is we we um we read through all of the balance patch changes and discussed each one and everything like that and we put the videos up on YouTube right now. Us talking about all those. I am not excited to play against Trundle Lissandra again or ever again. I don't know. <laughs> to be kind of fair, though, I'm just I'm really looking forward to the the changes, right? And just in general, and I'm I guess I could be attacking whatever. I'm just not yeah. <laughs> looking forward to tomorrow. Not that excited about any of these games that we played today because I'm just looking forward to tomorrow. Y'all are probably feeling that exact same way though. Bronx doesn't do anything. Yeah, this is a Trundle Lissandra deck that looks like it's trying to defeat other Trundle Lissandra decks. 
That's what it looks like it's... It's purpose in life is. Almost discarded that Aurelian Soul. Okay, so Crescent Strike, finally. We finally got like the card that we'd want to get off of an Invoke. It's only our seventh Invoke against Trundle Lissandra today, and we finally got a good Invoke card, Crescent Strike. You know, the best ones are, you know, like the Crescent Strike, the six mana Obliterate, and the nine mana Obliterate, and we were 0 for 6 beforehand, I think. Maybe even more. I guess more than that, actually. We invoked more than that. But anyway, we finally found one of those three. However, now that I have this, like, a really, I kind of want to just go for this Aurelian Soul and have fun with this thing. I think I'm going to do that. Crescent Strike's kind of the better card to take, but, I mean, they're not Spectral Matron. So maybe we just don't need Crescent Strike because they're not Spectral Matron. So I'm not attacking. I feel like, just like earlier, they wanted, yeah, see, I think they wanted me to attack and then they were going to play Blighter Ravine afterwards. And so I just passed the round and didn't let them do that. Um, it's still probably worth playing this thing. Bask in her radiant blessing. So you gotta assume they're gonna have like Scorch Earth, right? You would think. Maybe it's Noxian Guillotine. Want the cheaper card. A bunch of flux. That's why really and Soul's crazy. It my opponent had to use a ton of cards to get rid of the Aurelian Soul, yet it also still put this Destroyer into play. It gave me a Golden Sister. It gave me the Scourge. Aww. We just burned our other Aurelian Soul. Things were cold. 
Embrace it. All right, hoping these guys can finish it out. Um, I think I play this Gird first, right? Yeah. Big Celestials. So Equinox got a nerf today. You may you may feel like the Equinox didn't get a nerf, but um, the Fangs nerf is definitely a, a good time Equinox nerf, right? Because of the Fangs nerf, with those Targon decks, you're probably wanting to play the 5-4 Solari Sunforger more moving forward, you know, with the the bigger lifesteal unit. Um, with you know, with not only the Fangs nerf, but then also with the the zero mana two one challenger nerf right so it just kind of makes that invoking the three cost or less cards a little worse so therefore there should be if if people are playing less the fangs people are playing less equinoxes it's already it, it's already really close between sun forger and the fangs and like having a two two fangs it does make that that five four body is huge and especially how targon does like they really want larger bodies anyway just like in combat and blocking and things like that like they really like it's nice having a five four in, in targon and so you kind of want to play that card now over the two over the fangs I mean, I think a lot. There's a lot of other things that buffed Targon, like just a lot of. There's a lot of buffs to different control decks and like control cards, like Karma, Heimer, like Aphelios. There's right, like there. There's lots of buffs to control stuff, and the more the more control things there are in the metagame, the better for Targon. Because Targon's going to be the best control region with having the Celestials. The slower the metagame, the best, the better it is for Targon. So Targon's still going to be fine. They'll be just fine. I don't know what I'm... I don't... The Hush, I'm, I'm not sure about. I like... I'm keeping the other two. I just don't know what the Hush... I don't know. Like maybe like Grizzled Ranger could be Hushed or like the Hecarim. Sorry, I don't know about that Hush. The Sunhawk probably matches up well against... Um, Grand Plaza units. Um, we played Riven Lee Sin the other day that was really good. I don't know if we played against Thralls or not. The question was playing Lee versus Thralls. If anybody tells you that they, if they know what they think the new best deck is, they're just completely lying. It, it is, it's impossible to know what, what the new best deck would, would possibly be. Um, it's going to take time to figure that out, right? And it, because we're all going to be trying like all these new, new, like the new changes to the champions, plus all the new cards and everything. And they're all going to be uh, going in. And that's, that's a great thing, right? So it's going to be a brand new fresh metagame where every, everybody's going to be trying tons of stuff. And that's really exciting. And that's, that's exactly where you want to be. Uh, with a game like this, it's it's going to be super exciting to see what happens. But um, as far as like knowing what's going to be the best, it's who knows. Day like day one, you still have to think that just like the kind of strategies that we have known about for a while and that we have um, that have been getting tuned over for months, they're still going to be probably like the strongest, right? Because you have just like the the complete deck and shell that's still really good. So like day one, your your um, decks that have been around for a while and have been successful probably looking towards something like that 
So like your like your Draven Jinx, for example, your discard burn, your Watcher deck. I think the Watcher deck's probably gonna be one of the strongest day ones. Like that that kind of stuff. Um That's gonna be the this those are those are probably gonna be the strongest decks day one, but now will they be the best decks in the format after a week, after two weeks, after three weeks? I, I don't know. Justice will be served. The <clears throat> all the lurker cards look incredible. Yeah, they they do look really really strong, and so I wouldn't be surprised if um, there was a really strong. I guess I just don't have to do that. There was a really strong lurk deck um, immediately, also because there it's it's a pretty easy to kind of just play a lurk deck, right? Because you just just go through the list. You know what cards say lurk, throw them all in. Throw them all in the same deck, right? Like it's it's not gonna take that much time to figure out a good lurk deck. Yeah, the make it rain change is very big, but the as far as like the biggest change out of any of them, I I think it's gonna be the twin disciplines change. I think twin disciplines change is gonna really change things, and that I think that people are going to get sick of Twin Disciplines pretty quickly. I think they're going to realize how good Twin Disciplines is at two mana. I think that that's going to be incredible. I think that that's, you know, like the neutral chant sharp, sharp sight, where it's just like the three of in every Ionia deck. Whether you're trying to play, like, I like trying to play Karma, you're going to want it to, to protect Karma. If you're trying to play... Um... Oh, I have the stun card. I could have just stunned. Sorry, this this is why you don't talk and play at the same time. <laughs> that would have just been a lot better just to stun it. I should have just done that. Anywho, um, you know, playing like Lee Sin, like that with Lee Sin, that with uh, Lulu, Yasuo, it's just going to make all those kind of cards a lot better. Twin Disciplines is going to be very good. Will of Ionia going to four mana is also going to have a big impact, I think. It's also a pretty big change. I'm pretty scared of... Currently, I'm pretty scared of Harrowing. Guess... How much power is this? 11, 13, 16, 22? 23, 24, 25, if I just play those? Hmm. Yeah, they, could e they could easily just like have anything to kill something. I guess I could have just played the Priestess and see what's up. Okay. Respect. I didn't really expect Ruination. It's a good card. I was expecting Harrowing more. But Lucian Hecker, I'm playing Ruination. Wasn't expecting that. Not lethal. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. One candle for every sun.
such naivete. That's two for illusion level up. All right, Rois. Take care. I will see you tomorrow. All right, we got a really soul level up. That's definitely a good thing. Now they'll pay attention. Do they have harrowing? I would have had the skies to sand against the harrowing. I still can. It was my heart that led me here. There's a heroine, cool. It was a valiant effort, but the skies shall descend upon the non-Targon players, and that'll be game. Victory today, freedom tomorrow. Okay, got a couple wins there, three and two with Thresh, Aurelian Soul, finishing out on a high note there with two wins in a row. Not bad at all. Of course, we'll have some of these cards change and everything like that uh, starting tomorrow. But um, yeah, I think Thresh, Aurelian Soul. It's a cool way to get Aurelian Soul in play. We got to do it that last game. The last game, you know, kind of showed off our deck. We got to put Aurelian Soul into play for free with Thresh. We also got to level up Aurelian Soul, so we leveled up both of our champions. We got to play some free Celestials with Aurelian Soul. We got to play the Skies Descend. So, you know, all that kind of stuff. And uh, Sunhawk looked good, right? We we stunned a Hecarim with the Sunhawk. Helped us stay alive. And everything like that. So there we go. That's Thresh Aurelian Soul. Those of y'all watch, watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the new cars. Which ones are you super excited about? What do you want to see right away? All that stuff. Next video that we'll have up is going to be the new cards. We'll probably be starting with the new champions immediately. Probably starting, you know, with a Lurk deck. Um... You know, and trying out Echo. Already got a donation deck to build a Zillion Echo deck. Um, so there's going to be lots of new f fun stuff to do. And, of course, we'll have all of the old champions that are going to be getting buffs that we got to go through all of them and try them out, including tough Trindamir. <laughs> but uh, besides that, obviously, uh, Howling Abyss costing six mana. Super excited about that. Super excited about Taric being a 3-5 now, like Shen, instead of a 3-4. Uh, excited about... Um, the new changes with Young Witch, anything to do with, with uh, you know, Twin Disciplines, all that kind of stuff. Lots of fun stuff going on. Misfortune. Come on. Make it rain. New, uh, the upgrades to Bilgewater. Karma. I think we could do some cool Karma control decks with these uh, um, Ionia changes. Look at how excited this puppy dog is. This puppy's so excited for all the new stuff. That's going to be starting tomorrow. All right, anyway. Thank you so much for watching some Thresh Aurelian Soul, and I will see you tomorrow.